The Pacific Northwest is a monument to the notion of so bad it's good. Don't believe me? Places. Tacoma's Jolly Jive. North Seattle Twin Teepees. The Big Hat and Boots. The Blob on Queen Anne Hill. The Kingdom. Heck, the Space Needle. The very symbol of our land is a monument to kitsch. People. Bill, Sonny, Ivor, all the presidents, Jim Rose and his fellow freaks, me. Good people, one and all, but bordering on bizarre. Things. What other states board such chainsaw carved statements? Worships, slimy slugs and R-rated mollusks. Both herds of beer and dancing clams. I'm telling you, we are weird people. A, a good kind of weird. We asked some local celebrities to share their tackiest treasures with us. Coach Carl thinks our fashion sense should be foul, and that our weather is, and he loves it. Uh, two things come to mind. Fashion, I think uh, I'm amazed at how simple the, the dress is up here, and the grunge, the, the outdoors, and the combinations they come up with. And the fashion is uh, kind of weird to me, but it's now national, so I guess it's good. The other thing, of course, is the weather. The weather at times can be so miserable that you learn how to enjoy it. The home of the 13 egg omelet makes Nancy Guppy's list. What's so bad it's good is Beth's Cafe uh, on Aurora by the Twin Teepees. Greasy, gross, and yet it was it. 529 now, it's Chris and Dana on the new KISS 106. Dana Dearden and Chris Collins of KISS FM asked their listeners our question. Their morning show fans have a love-hate relationship with caffeine. I like our listeners' one about coffee. That was a good one. That was a good one. Chris has a similar relationship with this town. I think mine's the best, though. It doesn't really have to do with Seattle other than that uh, uh, it's Spokane because it's such a bad place. Everyone knows that, but it's good that it's a four-and-a-half-hour drive away from here. Ooh, good thing we don't air in Spokane. So bad, it's good. That's pretty great. Kyle McLaughlin, movie star and Northwest native, didn't choose his long-ago TV series Twin Peaks. Instead, he confessed to endorphin addiction. I run, and I used to run a lot. Um, and it gets to the point where you get such a high a euphoria at the, that you know, you know that you may be hurting your knees, but um, you feel so good at the end of your run, you know, after you run four or five or six miles, that it's, it is bad, but it's so good. Almost live, John Keister weighs in with a rather unfortunate looking local candy bar. For me, the thing that's so bad that it's good is the uh, Brown and Haley Mountain Bar. Uh, it, it looks like a pile of dog crap. Let's face it, I mean, even the people who make it will admit that it looks like a pile of dog crap. So take pride in your crazy characters, bizarre buildings, and bad habits, because without them, the Northwest would be just like every place else. If every place else had the Olympics and Puget Sound and Mount Rainier, exceptionally intelligent people, and more natural.